write question number 9a exercise 2e and this is the case of using substitution method solving fractional equation so there is actually no bigger difference between this these types of questions and the question that we have done before that means the question number 8 11 12 and 13 only we can see that fractions are involved here which is not a big problem for us and uh, the step will be same that is one uh, in the step number one all you have to do is express uh, y or x in terms of the other variable and in the second part all you have to do is replace that y um, with the expression you have derived okay now uh, let's get back to our solution and let's see how we are going to deal with uh, these uh, types of uh, simultaneous equations substitution method solution let's deal with this equation first okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep y on one side of this equals to and will shift all the other terms on the other side of the is equals to so that's going to be 2 here will become minus 2 when it will go on the other side additive property okay just like this and this is equation 1 let's call it okay now this y I am going to put in our equation B so let's see I'm going to write put y in B okay so it's going to be x upon x upon 3 minus minus 10 minus x upon 5 okay why I have uh, uh, I have done it directly I think maybe it can create a confusion so actually I have taken LCM over here and 1 and 5 LCM of 1 and 5 is 5 we know so it's minus 10 minus x upon 5 okay and it's going to be minus 10 is equals to 0 now again we have two numbers in our denominator we'll take the LCM this is the whole story where you will find the fraction you will have to convert it into a regular form and how will you do it you will take the LCM so after taking we know the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15 you can calculate it separately if you want so it's going to be 5x minus 3 and multiply it with 3 so minus minus plus 30 again minus minus plus 3x and I'm going to shift this 10 on the other side it's going to be 10 why I'm going to do it you will see okay now again like terms 3x plus 5x is equals to 8x plus 30 this will cross multiply it's 150 and 8x is equals to 150 minus 30 will be 120 so that means 8 15 is 120 so that means the value of x is 15 now I've got the value of x now I can put this value of x in any of these equations to get the value of y simple so let's put the value of x in any of these equations okay why not putting the value of uh, this x is equals to 15 in our equation in this right y is equal the value of y that we have calculated okay so in one the so y is equals to minus 10 minus 15 upon 5 
So now the calculation is much more easy. Minus 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 10 minus 15 is minus 25. Rules of algebra upon 5, 5 upon 5. Minus 5. So now we've got the value of y and we've got the value of x.
and thank you for watching. Subscribe for more updates.